What's up, guys? Hope you're all doing well. In today's video, we're going to discuss why Mila Kunis was replaced in Tet 2. Actress Mila Kunis was so good at Tet that she was nominated for a Critics' Choice Movie Award, an MTV Movie Award, and two People's Choice Awards. She starred in the film opposite Mark Wahlberg, who is said to have brought in $7.5 million from the production. It is not known exactly how much Kunis was paid, although the film's overwhelming commercial success would have ensured that she too enjoyed a nice payday. After principal photography wrapped within two weeks in May 2011, Ted was released in June of the following year. About two months earlier, Kunis had officially started dating Ashton Kutcher, with whom he had previously starred on that 70s show. The couple's relationship blossomed quickly, and they got engaged about two years later. In July 2015, Kunis and Kutcher walked down the aisles in Oakland, California. A month earlier, Wahlberg returned to the big screen for Tattoo along with Seth MacFarlane, Giovanni Ribisi, and Jessica Barth. Morgan Freeman and John Slattery also joined the cast, having never been in the first film. Evidently absent from the action, however, was Kunis. Who is the character played by Mila Kunis in Ted? On DirecTV, the synopsis for Ted's first movie reads, When John Bennett was a kid, he wanted his beloved teddy bear, Ted, to come to life. 30 years later, foul-mouthed Ted is still John's constant companion, much to the annoyance of Lori, John's girlfriend. Although Lori's discontent is exacerbated by the couple's constant consumptions of beer and wheat, she's not the one who is most disappointed in John. John's childhood toy may need interventions to finally help him grow. Ted was conceived by Family Guy creator Seth MacFarlane, who co-wrote the script with his frequent colleagues Alex Silkin and Wellesley Wild. MacFarlane also voiced the titular character with Mark Wahlberg playing his best friend John. Mila Kunis played John's girlfriend Lori, who leaves him desperate for the incredible amount of time he spends with Ted. The teddy bear helps them stay together and they also get married at the end of the movie. When McFarlane began working on the script for the sequel, Kunis was still part of the film. Why did Mila Kunis miss out on Ted 2? As plans for the productions of Ted 2 were kicking off, things were also starting to get pretty serious between Mila Kunis and Aston Kutcher. Eight months after their engagement in February 2014, their first daughter Wyatt, Isabel Kutcher, was born. The arrival of the new bundle of joy for the Kutcher family coincided with the filming schedule for Ted 2, which took place between July and November 2014. In February of the following year, Kunis held an Ask Me Anything sessions on Reddit Second Toe News. In this chat with fans, the actress confirmed that having a baby was in fact the reason she was MIA on Tattoo. A little thing called pregnancy got in the way of me and the production, but I wish them all the best and I'm sure the film will be hysterical. While it didn't reach the heights of commercial success like its predecessor, Tattoo grossed nearly $216 million against a budget of $68 million. Who replaced Mila Kunis in Tattoo? With Mila Kunis absent from Tattoo, Seth MacFarlane and his two co-writers have decided to end the relationship between John and Lori altogether. By the time the events of the film began to unfold, the couple had been divorced for about six months. The film centered on Ted and his wife, Tammy Lynn, as they fight multiple legal battles to adopt a child. While John tries to help his friends in this quest, his path crosses that of Samantha, Sam Leslie Jackson, a young lawyer trying to solve Ted and Tammy Lynn's problems. John and Sam eventually fall in love and at the end of the film, they seek a relationship. Sam's character was played by Amanda Seyfried of Les Miserables. In that sense, she wasn't a direct replacement for Kunis, but she essentially filled her role in the sequel. Kunis took a short break from acting after her daughter was born. In her questions and answers sessions on Reddit, she said, Motherhood is the most life-changing experience you can have, in my opinion. I'm proud to be a stay-at-home mom camera. Tell us in the comment sections your views on this topic. Alright, that's it for today's video. If you like watching our content, please consider subscribing to our channel by clicking the subscribe button down below. Thank you for watching.